Hey guys, it's G and welcome back to my channel. Also kind of welcome back to a bloody new background. I'm so excited that I've got a new little setup and area to film now. I love it here and obviously this is going to be the beginning of kind of what this video is all about. Really recently I have been kind of in a dilemma of switching my room up. Now, I know a year ago, I did a full on transformation of changing my room up, turning it from like a very dark black gray room to minimalistic vibes, very light and airy and just gorgeous. Now I say this wearing all black, which never really happens anymore. I ended up going to a next event. Now, this was kind of the reason where this whole idea started. I ended up seeing the most gorgeous mini, I think it's called a love seat, like a two seater sofa. Now in my room, I have two sections, I have two sections in my room. I have my living room area and then I have my bedroom area. Now this area has always been a bit more of like a, not a studio room, but it's looked pretty, but no one kind of, it's not a very homely vibe. Like no one really sits in this area. It's not very welcoming. It's very like props, if you get what I mean. Like my chair was kind of a prop that I would sit on to take a picture and that was it. I wouldn't sit on it to chill. No one else would sit on it. I also had my other area, which is literally opposite me, which used to be where my AMAC was. And that basically turned into a dumping ground that I didn't necessarily use. And it just didn't feel very homely. And I wanted to turn my room, to kind of turn my room into an apartment where, you know, people could come in and sit on the couch, enjoy just being in my room. So ever since I saw this sofa, that I will admit, I've always kind of loved the vibe of it. I was so tempted to, you know, buy it and kind of change my room into more of a living space more than it was before. So obviously I came back from the event. I had to wait a few weeks until it actually launched because the event that I went to was actually like a pre um, spring summer event. So not everything at the event was launched. So I waited a few weeks and thank God, my two seater came in. I actually went into next store, my local one, and saw it there in person. Even that just made me fall in love with it even more. <laughs> selling my very beloved but I will admit when I first did my room the chair that I always have in the corner the one that I got last year it was beautiful and it is a stunning style but one it wasn't comfy for me to sit in because it was kind of like a tilted I don't know the angle of the chair was a little bit tilted upwards which for someone whose legs hit the ground probably really comfy for someone like me I was not comfy. I felt like I was really tipped back. And like I said, no one could really sit in the chair. My mum would sit in it now and then, but I wouldn't sit in it. I didn't find it comfy. I wanted something where people could sit down and chill in my room. So I did end up selling that chair. Will admit that was really cute for me because I've always wanted to buy myself a sofa and I didn't think it would work in my room, but it totally does and I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. So the sofa that I've got is actually called Sofa in a Box because it literally comes in a box, you pop its legs on and the back of it and it's literally that easy to build. So I would normally have my like single chair, my accent chair in the corner of my room so it's on a bit of an angle facing to what kind of where I'm sat. This sofa is actually now against the wall so instead of it being in the corner it's fully against the wall, which kind of has changed the vibe of this room completely. I ended up getting a brand new table. So I used to have a little black, well, I say little, it kind of wasn't little. It was quite a big black metal table, which was dead cheap. I don't, I think I got it from Wayfair or something for like a tanner. It was really, really cheap. And 
The only reason I got a bigger, like, round metal table was to kind of cover the empty wall up because I actually had a lot of space between the chair and the corner. And then I had, like, obviously excess wall that I needed to kind of fill. So I had a big metal table with, obviously, books, coffee table books on it and, like, my plant. And that was the vibe that I was going for. That table has now been rehomed to my mum. My mum has now got that as an outdoor, like, garden table, which is their cute for drinks. And I ordered myself the most beautiful little mini, and I'm talking, this table that I've got is smaller than my couch which is why i love it because it's not a huge side table it's literally miniature it's from h&m same vibes as the last one like a metal round top tray one I love the style of legs on it so all i've got on it is like my book on there i actually bought myself a beautiful donut vase which is from h&m also with some um black bunny tails in it but it looks beautiful i've currently kept the rug that I still had, like a faux fur rabbit, um, rabbit, I don't know what you call it, like the sheepskin style rubs, obviously it's not real, it was from B&M, Home Bargains, can't remember, since I got this new sofa, it goes perfectly underneath, I also got some gorgeous cushions, now cushions have been a bit of an issue, because weirdly on camera, this sofa looks like the same colour as the walls and stuff. I'll admit the sofa is a little bit more creamier looking than my actual room is. So I basically had to find so many different types of cushions that have kind of been hit and miss. However, I ended up finding some gorgeous cushions in Primark. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love the quality. I'm actually really surprised because normally, like the Primark, Primark cushions have always been fab, but this feels like H&M home quality. Really, really thick really just oversized cushions and i love it i will admit i was torn whether to get oversized cushions for this sofa because it is a two seater sofa like it's a very small sofa contrast between a big cushion and obviously a little sofa it just looks really funky i have got it actually got it behind me right now it's still got the tag on but they are beautiful they're so comfy to lean against i'm gonna be living on this sofa working i'm so excited to actually just chill on it instead of always being in my bedroom space which is where i'm mostly at now i do have a lamp behind me now this was actually on the wall where my bathroom door is and it just looked like a spare part it looked really annoying since i'd moved everything around so we have moved that behind this however this is a spotlight didn't think of that did i i actually want a really cozy soft light if that makes any sense still got the mirrors which i think i really like actually because i have got the option to take the mirrors off and on but for my video i do think it gives it a bit more depth instead of it being completely a cream wall but even this background like i just love it next part of my room that i did change that isn't a massive change but you guys will notice now i used to have a unit um, that was actually built for me like it was just built by the occupational therapist a few years I'm talking years and years ago and um, it was a white unit that we were gonna end up using as like a kitchen for me so I could kind of have you know a kettle on it I did have a kettle and use it as like a kitchen storage for like snacks and that's about it and drinks but in the end, I ended up getting rid of my fridge because it was just so noisy. I can get into the kitchen myself. So there was just no reason for me to have a kitchen in here when I've got a kitchen literally through that door that I can get to myself. It's all accessible. I can reach everything in the kitchen. I basically decided that I didn't need that area. I ended up using it just for my iMac. We decided to change one of our rooms to an office. So my iMac got moved from my bedroom to the office and then that area just ended up being quite dead looking it was kind of like my own sideboard but it never looked like a proper sideboard because it had like a big cutout it had cupboard doors it was still a unit and it was very white as well which was lovely but it kind of looked quite a bit too clinical and white and clean I was able to turn this area into a sideboard unit I've always wanted a sideboard like a proper sideboard not only because it gives me more storage which 
your girl needs. But also it just looks, again, a very homely and living room vibes, which is what I'm obviously going for. We ended up going into Ikea and we literally found the most perfect sideboard unit. So this unit was in the bargain basement. So it was, I think, I can't remember how much it was. I think full price, it was over £100. I got it for about 80 so I got 30% off the original price which is amazing the white one gave me bedroom vibes which i wasn't a fan of the black one was the one that was in the bargain basement for 30 percent off so i was really torn because i wasn't sure if i wanted a big dark wooden unit but actually it was the best thing that i got i've actually fallen in love with it i absolutely love it it's got three huge drawers that i'm currently using for like shoes, things that I need on a daily basis, like love the storage in it, perfumes, shoes, it fit perfectly in the gap that my old unit was in. So at the minute I've got my lamp on there, my coffee table books and also a gorgeous um, white ceramic body, like woman body bars, which I actually got from Next with some black bunny tails in it and it looks beautiful, looks so modern, really like apartment vibes or your manchester vibes like, it's like i've built my own little dream mini living room which i absolutely love it's actually given my room a bigger look because it's not taking up the whole wall and just changing things up like that has just given it a whole new vibe and feel to it there's not like lots of cold floor space anymore it actually feels like a living room and feels very welcoming the style of my room at the minute like not only am I obsessed with it, but it's literally everywhere, all over Instagram. I see it all over in shops. I couldn't be happier with the vibe in here. I haven't even been able to tell you guys about the rug palaver. Now, again, in this video, you will see that I got a new rug for my bedroom in a cream one from Home Bargains, which again has lasted me a year. It's just become very flattened, it's just looking a bit squaggly and bit lived in it just didn't give me that beautiful like fluffy big thick rug so my mum ended up finding one in Aldi it was absolutely stunning it was a big thick cream fluffy rug similar to what I had even a day of having it there was clumps of black thread coming out of it within a few hours later so I'm there like pulling these black threads out of my rug as each day went by I literally collected a mound of threads, white and black. It was scattered all across my wooden floor. I ended up just kind of living with it and thinking, you know what? If I'm just going to have to pick up a few threads, then whatever. It's a beautiful rug. I don't mind. Why is there so much powder under this rug? Which I genuinely believed was sand until my mum looked at it and my nan. And they were like, no, nope, that's not sand. That's your rug basically disintegrating. Now it wasn't until we lifted the rug up, which I don't know why, I think I went to like pick something up under the rug and we literally lifted just the corner up and it looked like there was so much sand underneath. Now in the area of where you lifted the rug, the more you lift it up, the more of this powder, I don't even know what it was, wasn't good. It was actually really toxic and dangerous for my dog, so she couldn't go on the rug. What we think has happened with the rug is the glue hasn't obviously been set or the glue has disintegrated, which is what's making the threads come apart and then obviously all the powder um, all underneath the rug. It was horrific. I've never ever in my life... <laughs> literally never ever experienced anything like it i have took the rug back and got a refund and i did try and contact aldi but they didn't they didn't actually message me back so i did actually leave a review which is why i'm going to speak about this because i actually think this is quite shocking and i'm i'm just doing this to warn anyone who does buy this rug because not only am i shocked but it's the fact it's, it's how Aldi are basically treating the situation is a bit like, oh, okay, they're clearly not wanting me to be honest. So what I did was I left a review on the rug on Aldi just to be on the safe side and warn other people about the rug in case they also want it. It was an absolutely beautiful rug, 
but it was £50 also, so it wasn't dead cheap. So, like I said, I did a little review of the rug, just warning people, like saying, obviously, it is a beautiful rug and I absolutely love it, but just beware and please check at home. If you've got this rug, you might have this powder underneath. Now, when you send a review into Aldi, you have to basically moderate it. So it gets sent in, someone reads it, and then they approve it. They actually declined the review. Like they said it wasn't allowed, which is funny because when you go on the reviews, the only kind of thing people were saying was about the threads. The fact that Aldi didn't approve my review on the rug I'm not gonna lie, it's actually quite shocking and I did not expect that. I think that if this review went out, I don't think one, anyone would buy the rug and two, I do think this rug would have to be pulled off shelves if my review went out there because if people saw what was going on, it wouldn't be good on Aldi if a baby or a dog got hurt from this. So that was my Aldi rug absolute mess of a situation. So obviously I was still rugless, I had no rug, and instantly I was like, you know what, the saying is so true, pay cheap, pay twice. So the first place that I was going to order my rug was next. Now, I actually saw this rug a few weeks ago, which was weird because I saw it at the same time I went in to see this sofa in store. It was beautiful. A really thick, gorgeous cream rug. It's got no black threads in it, which is not going to basically ruin the vibe of it. I'm a bit over it now and I think because I've had two rugs with this like black lining detail that I'm a bit like, you know what, I'm gonna just go and stick with my gut and go for the all cream look. So literally, it's only the other day I end up going into next and ordering my new rug. It's so gorgeous looking. I love the all cream look and I think it's gonna last me many, many years because I'm not gonna be changing this style up. <laughs>